Welcome to Rated Tape. As y'all already know, we're going to jump right into this film study session of Odell Beckham Jr. As we know, he got released uh, from the Browns and teams are going to be looking to pick him up. Now, the thing going on right now is that people may say that maybe he's a locker room cancer. He's not the same. He's washed up. And me personally, I always liked, I always liked OBJ. I always thought Baker Mayfield was kind of kind of below average, in my opinion, when it came to a quarterback. Maybe not below average but he's just not that good of a quarterback in my opinion i said it this all season as well i don't think he does justice for obj now with that being said i'm not trying to skew anybody's opinion on anything these plays were basically every play i could pick up from the film from the first two games this is only from the bears and vikings game and the reason i did that is because i just want to be transparent show consistency and those are just two first games he played so why not take those two back to back and show, okay, can he be consistent? Can Is there something we can see? And also he got a lot of targets in those. So then we can also watch route running um, and how he was being targeted. So with that being said, if this is your first time here, make sure to hit that like button. It goes a long way. I appreciate it. Just hit 5,000 subscribers. Now we're on the road to 6K. Yo, we're doing a great job. If y'all can hit the subscribe button too, if you want to see more videos just like this also just started the membership so more obj film in the membership only remember that and we do lives uh live film study sessions so without further ado let's rate the tape we're gonna jump right into it i don't have them in any particular or order but boom, we get a little bootleg, and wow, just wow. Let's go ahead and run that one back. Let's go ahead and run that one back. This one's going to go fast because I have a lot of plays. I have a lot of plays, and I want to get through it quick. I don't want to make this too long. Boom, we get the play action Mayfield. Now we're going, boom, right there. You can see OBJ is right there on the hash marks. If we just go a little bit longer, he is wide open. There is no reason you do not throw this to OBJ to where only he can get it right there underneath um right there on the 35 yard line you know to where only he can get it and mayfield kind of chucks it up and it's an incomplete pass i don't really like that i think that was on mayfield uh obj got wide open on that play let's go ahead and take a look at it from this angle right here and mind you i have a lot of plays so we got to get through this real quick you got to hit obj on that you have to you got to hit him on that come on now Let's see. Okay, I remember this. This was this was the first drive, offensive drive of the Bears. Here he is right here, going for that slant. And this right here, it's a tough pass. They were on him, but at the same time, you have a linebacker on OBJ. You got to get that throw in there. You have to get that throw in there. That timing needs to be down. Let's go ahead and look at this play. Right out of the shotgun, he steps up. He chokes one to OBJ. What a route. Look at that route. Let's go back and watch that route right here. We might be able to see it from this angle at the top of the screen. If not, I will go back. Oh, there he is. Ooh, ooh, E, inside, out. Ooh, ooh, that was butter. That was nice. Yeah, I think OBJ, he still got his legs up under him. I don't know why people would say he doesn't. He's showing good bow again. Right back to him to the inside right back to him on the inside so so far we've seen some breaking routes to the inside some some curl routes right on the hash marks we've seen slants we've seen them come all the way across the field that's about four plays in a row and boom right there what's that this is every relevant odell beckham jr uh play that i could find in these games and i see a lot of production i see a lot um that he's providing for this team right now. That's a flag right there. Now let's go back. That is a flag. And you can see it right here. At the bottom of your screen, there's the flag. Holding them. Automatically, automatic first down. That's about a 20 yard gain, 25 yard gain on an automatic first down. Because the guy couldn't cover him. The guy could not cover him. So, so far, nobody could cover Odell Beckham. And on this one, he gets held. I'm not mad at that. I am not mad at that at all whatsoever. Let's go on to this next one. Oh, we get a nice little reverse. Come back around. Ooh, nice run play. 
Nearly picks up a first down. Nearly, nearly picks up a first down on that one. Oop, fake the hand off to Cream Hunt. Come back around to OBJ. You get a lead block from Hooper. Nice. Nearly picks up the first down on a reverse. Right after getting a penalty. That's beautiful. Play action pass. You see him at the top of your screen right there. Where is he throwing the football? Oh, he didn't throw the football. He takes off scrambling. Not bad. It's only a gain of about six. But let's look at it from this other angle because I feel like OBJ was wide open right in the middle of the field. That's the second time. He was wide open. Clean pocket, clean pocket. Are you scared to throw the football? Are you scared to throw the football? Let's go back. This is why I have an issue with scrambling quarterbacks. And I'm not saying Mayfield is predominantly a scrambling quarterback, but he is most definitely mobile. And when he gets the mobile quarterbacks, they don't have that, oh, read the play, diagnose it, and then I'm on timing. Right? They're not on, a, on, the, on that on a certain kind of time to where it's based off the play and coverage their time their clock and their head is different that's why you see players like lamar jackson baker mayfield deshaun watson russell wilson they all have this tendency to where they won't pull the trigger on timely man on a timely manner when it comes to a play and that opening is there you got to pull the trigger pull the trigger obj is right there wide open He's, oh, how long does he have to be open? Nobody's picking him up for the longest. He's wide open. You have to hit him. You have to hit him in that predicament. I've seen people bag on Derek Carr for way less. For way less. Let's go to this next play. Oh. To the outside. Nothing there. Mm, I didn't like that body language from OBJ, but let's go back one more time. He's at the top of the screen. Oop, breaks. Ah, that was not a good route. I didn't like that route, but it could have been because of the coverage. He was playing that outside leverage. It would have been just way too hard to get that ball in there. Yeah, I didn't like that. And that was almost the interception anyways. You got to bring that down. You got to bring that down underneath to your receiver. Let's go to this next play. You got him right here at the bottom of your screen. He's going deep. He's looking for it. And, ooh, look, I don't know where people's getting the, I don't know where people are getting this notion that he doesn't have it anymore, that OBJ doesn't have his legs under, underneath them. I think he's looking pretty good out there. Now, of course, this is the first game back. This is the first game back. And we're going to go ahead and look at the second game after this one. But, he has shown a lot of production so far. A lot of production. That's an easy little, that's an easy, easy little post right there. Nice, that's, that's right inside of a few defenders. Mayfield got it in there. Good throw from Mayfield. He pretty much protects his receiver as well, the way he's able to get the ball down in there. A lot, a lot going on right there, but Mayfield got it done. I like that. Let's go on to this next play, see what we got. Here we are. You get the motion, bootleg going out. You sling it. You throw it to the sidelines right now. Get them the football. Where are you? You just, I don't like, I, I feel like he, he's missing. I feel like Mayfield is missing some throws. And it's not even the fact that he's missing it because of accuracy so much. It's because he's failing to pull the trigger. He's failing to pull the trigger. You got to get it out quick. Let's see where we're at on this. Oh, across the sideline at the bottom of your screen. Just too late. He still caught it. There's no way you can sit here and tell me OBJ is missing something. There's no way. Let's go back to the top of the screen so we can watch this man's break. I mean, top of the play. Here he's at the bottom of the screen. Ooh, beats him. It looks like it's a cover two. Safety comes over too late. The ball wasn't there fast enough. Ball wasn't there fast enough, and it was way too far out of bounds. Way too far out of bounds. Let's look at that from this. Look at it from the end zone angle. Ooh, that was close. Let's look at that from a. Let's slow it down. Oh, yeah, that's way too far out. You got to nearly put that on the defender. So it, it's either pass interference or he makes a play. The, the defender's back is turned. 
Look where the ball is at. Look where the ball ends up. He nearly makes that catch. You can't tell me OBJ is missing something right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at this last play. Next we have is the Vikings. And you get a nice little comeback route. Too easy. They gave way too much space on that. That zone. He, he's eating up that zone all day. He's eating up that zone all day. Boom. Gets, him, gets Mayfield on the move. Hits Odell underneath. Let's go back to the top of that. Let's watch Odell's route. He's at the bottom of your screen. He's going up about 10 yards. Ooh, 15 yards comeback. Yikes. Kills the cornerback on that one. I don't even know how long I've been recording on this. This is the first game. Still have another game to look at. Um, but this is just the first game against the Bears. And if y'all want to check out the second game against the Vikings, I'm going to drop it in the membership only videos. The second game is pretty legit, man. I think it shows some consistency. But at the same time, it shows a little bit about uh, Mayfield. But this is mainly about OBJ and whether he should come to the Raiders or not. I think he should. I think he still produces. I think he still has great route running. He still has a good twitch, good quickness, good speed. He's able to get out in open field, play against man and zones. We've seen this. we just seen it. He, he ran slants. He ran comebacks. He ran skinny posts. He ran every route we could potentially want to see him play. So at that point, I think he he's, should be picked up by the Raiders. And this is somebody I definitely want to get. We know we need help in the wide receiver room so if this is your first time pulling up make sure y'all hit the like button i appreciate you guys tuning in again i'm gonna put the second video when he plays against the minnesota vikings which i think will show uh show some a lot more true to to who obj is um but i appreciate y'all pulling up if y'all can't hit the like button hit the subscribe button and if y'all want to become members the link is uh, down below you can always just click on the channel and hit the join button pick your tier and uh, until next time y'all rate the tape